set this at something realistic for racing conditions. I typically go in here, set it for 3000 RPM. We're gonna wait a delay. We'll just do 0.5 seconds. Our stop RPM, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put 2900 RPM. And then our delay here, we'll just set it at something like uh, 1.5. So now we've set our conditions. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring my engine RPM up here and uh, we're gonna bring it into the condition where it would actually start the log. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna see that our engine RPM is at high RPM right now. You can see we're at 5,000. Then we're gonna leave it there for a second and just let it capture this data on the onboard logger here. And that should be sufficient enough time. I'm gonna bring my engine RPM down here to shut the log off. So now we've came down below 2,900. We'll wait a second here. And now we're gonna be ready to go ahead and actually extract the data log out. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go into utilities, we're gonna go get log data. And it's gonna go ahead and retrieve the log for us now. We're gonna be patient while it downloads it. It's gonna ask us if we wanna go ahead and clear the memory out. I usually say yes because I'm gonna save the data log right out of the MoTeC. Whenever I pull the data log out, I'll say yes. And it's gonna say there's no detail set for this event. I'm gonna say okay at this point. Now we can set this event name. So if we're an event is a racing event, let's say, or we're dynoing, uh, we could say dyno session number one. And then we could put some details here if we wanted to. Um, the venue, if we're racing on a track, or what the name is, or any kind of details associated with that in the vehicle. We could also set all kinds of data into the vehicle if we're uh, going in and uh, want to be very specific here for this particular MoTeC that we're logging. You can see your ECU seal and our serial number is going to be a Associated with that, we can also set a log ID here. We're just going to click OK for right now. Uh, for venue name, I'll just call this EPA testing for right now. And we'll say the vehicle ID, we'll just say simulator. And right now, then it'll, it'll ask me to save this, save the session or the details. Um, I'll just say uh, onboard test one. And now that log has been saved. So I've saved the onboard data log, and if I want to go and open it, I'm going to be using the log software to do that. So anytime.